Today's lesson is on the basics of painting your own colour wheel to understand the difference between warm and cold versions of each colour. I have drawn a circle and divided it into six. I've hinted at the colours that are going to go in so you can see probably how this is going to progress. Let's make a start. I'm going to firstly put on to this colour wheel cold versions of each primary colour. I've got cold versions on the left here. I've got cerulean blue. I've got alizarin crimson or carmine. I've got lemon yellow. So start with lemon yellow. And lemon yellow is, as I say, a cold yellow. Let's put it into the yellow section here. The crimson is a cold red. Let's put it here. I'll explain exactly why as we progress. I'm taking a clean brush for each primary colour. And the uh, cerulean blue is a cold blue. Now to understand these terms, to understand what we're getting at, one this does help you when you want to mix exactly the colour you need in a painting. And we with these three cold colours can mix a huge variety of colours. So for example, let's take the lemon yellow. If we put lemon yellow here, this section and then add the cold blue to it we can get a beautiful bright green a secondary color the mixture of two primaries we can take the problem now is that if we take a cold yellow and try to make an orange with it we're not going to get the brightest orange same applies in this section. If we take a cold red like crimson and add it to a cold blue, we're not going to get the brightest purple. So we're going to have to use warm colours. So in other words, let's go back to our yellow section. If I put cadmium red into this other half of this segment, you can see that it's a warmer version of yellow. And if we put cadmium red into this part of the red section, we've got a more scarlet, warmer red. So if we mix the two of those together, the cadmium red and cadmium yellow in equal measure, we'll get a very vibrant orange. I'll show you what happens if we do it the other way around in a minute. If we mix the crimson here with a warm blue so this is the ultramarine. You can see next to the cerulean how warm it is. But if you mix that now into the crimson, okay, and try to balance it, we'll get a warmish purple. If we had to try to mix that crimson on the other hand with the cold blue, you'll notice that the purple, although we are getting a purple, it's a little bit greyer. It's not quite as bright. If we tried to mix the orange, let's go back to my other brush, 
if we try to mix the orange here with a lemon yellow and the cadmium red, we wouldn't have got quite as much depth into the orange. So the lemon yellow and the orange, uh, sorry, lemon yellow and the cadmium red produce a less intense orange. If we try to mix the green using a lemon yellow here, go back to my blue brush with a warm blue, the cobalt, uh, sorry, the ultramarine blue in here, we get a green, but again, it's not so bright. So that is why we have warm and cold versions of each primary colour in our palettes, in order to be able to mix a wider range of secondary colours than otherwise.